Hey, everybody. It's a beautiful Wednesday, June the 16th. It's National Fudge Day. And it's time for the wise guys and girl and Matt, sponsored by Zeller's and the Zeller's Restaurant, where the lowest price is the law. As always, let's start with Sir and the Weather. A wonderful Wednesday indeed. Cool and comfortable are the words for today. 18 right now, working our way up to a high of 21 under mostly sunny skies. And more of the same for tomorrow. And a uh, random daily shout out to skeletons, both keys and what's in closets. And if using the former, just be prepared for what you might find in the latter. <laughs> Skeleton on a ladder. That's scary. It would be noisy, I would think. Rattle, rattle, rattle. Well, on National Fudge Day, we celebrate and indulge in our favorite flavor of this delicious treat. Everybody loves fudge, or they are a liar. The most familiar fudge flavors are chocolate, chocolate nut, peanut butter, maple, and maple nut. Which reminds me that most families are like fudge. Mostly sweet, with a few nuts. I, I had all sorts of learning in making up facts for National Fudge Day. Uh, I learned about panoush, which is not technically fudge, but only fudge-like. Who knew? Yeah, I don't know. Uh, there's a, you know, with the businesses new opening up, uh, places are replacing things that have closed, and there's a new shop that's advertising triple fudge brownie sundaes with double whipped cream and saying that they only have 100 calories been accused of spreading alternative snacks. <laughs> All right, it's time for tunes with Tamik. Tamik, what are you listening to today? Something by Vanilla Fudge? I think you got it! it. You got it! <laughs> <laughs> That's a dollar. <laughs> I'd never heard of vanilla fudge before, but I was like, okay, let me, because all the other things on fudge and candy were not appropriate. Let's put it that way. Again, you can mention for things that I cannot play on this show. So I was like, okay, who's vanilla fudge? And they're actually pretty cool. Um, they're very, uh, very well known for covers of other like famous songs. Um, by the Bit people. Like Eminem. <laughs> you know. No, it's fudge, not M&M, sir. Fudge, fudge, keep up. You can cover fudge with uh, candy coke. I guess you can <laughs> So, I guess their genre of music is called psychedelic rock or acid rock or whatever. But it, it was kind of cool. Like, I like some of the songs, but there's one particular song um, that actually, again, I always, you know what's funny? No matter what type or style of music you listen to, I gravitate to, I think, songwriting a lot. Because when I looked at the songs, like, oh, I love the lyrics. Who wrote it? Carol King. I'm like, of course, right? Yeah. Um, but they have a song called I Can't Make It Alone. And I think uh, so appropriate for what we've been going through in the last couple of years. Uh, there's a line in that song that says, I've tried and I know I can't make it alone. It's such a hard way to go. I just can't make it alone. There's something in my soul that will always lead me back to you. And I was like, that's actually really beautiful. Uh, so I love that line. It's it's um, it's a beautiful line. And I really love the, the melody and the harmonies in their music actually. And I can kind of hear, what I love about listening to bands that were around like, you know, 50s and 60s, you can hear how music progressed from those bands. And you can hear like the influence that they might've had on other acts so they talk about their style of music sort of being a precursor to like some some forms of heavy heavy metal and hard rock and i can literally hear it through the progression of their sound so really cool band and if you like to listen to remakes of songs like keep me hanging on which actually is a really really good one um they did a remake of what else El eleanor rigby was, and you can't do that which i actually really like and listen to that one so if you like remakes of songs like that, like listen to the band. They're really cool, really different take on a lot of those songs. Um, makes you think about the songs differently as well. But yeah, that's my pick today of uh, Vanilla Fudge and the particular song, I Can't Make It Alone, written by Carol King. I'm Which is still, sitting, still sitting stunned that you didn't pick Candyman by Sam Davis. I really am. <laughs> but this actually had been Fudge in the title. So I was like, yes. okay. 
A, a candy man has all range of goods available, including fudge. I think we did one Sammy song, but honestly, my favorite Sammy song, I think, I think I did I Gotta Be Me earlier yeah, this year. Yeah, you did. But I do love Mr. Bojangles. That I feel like that that song, and I remember, I don't know if any of you watched the Arsenio Hall show back in the day, but I remember him being on that show. And I think he died like two weeks later. And I remember just seeing him, looking at him, and thinking about the life that he led. And that song is so much connected to who he became. But yeah, but maybe I'll, I'll pull it. I'll, I'll, see, I'll see if a day comes up that I can pull out another Sammy tune. So. <laughs> I think Bojangles Day might be coming up, so you could really <laughs> check the boxes then. <laughs> Uh, what a perfect tune. I can't make it alone. With all the complex fudge recipes out there, you can't make it alone. You need a partner. So, very appropriate. All right, it is time for Ventures with Venturo. Venturo, what's today's adventure? Uh, it's Wednesday, and usually I'm sharing a book with you guys. Uh, today's book is The Five Second Rule by Mel Robbins, right? The moment you have an instinct to act on the goal, you must calm down. Five. Okay, time's up. <laughs> Do what? <laughs> and physically move or your brain will stop you, right? Using the rule is simple. Whenever you feel an instinct to fire up an act on a goal or a commitment or a moment you feel yourself hesitate, do something and you know what you should do, right? So what you should do is just start by counting down. Five, four, three, two, one, and just get up and go. So the book is The Five Second Rule by Mel Robbins. And, of course, the five-second rule doesn't apply when you drop your fudge. <laughs> I, I, saw, I, should, I saw that book in the store once, and I thought, eh, nah. But then I thought to myself, you know, don't fudge a book by its cover. <laughs> Starting early. Nice. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> There's a dollar plus Ventura laughter. We're getting a head start on our money for the uh, Zeller's restaurant today. Excellent. Uh, and I think, uh, Ventro, next week we're going to book off time for you to produce all these reviews that you keep promising us <laughs> of the book. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my goodness. All right. Well, welcome to this week's edition of The Sizzler, where our own Vice Principal Botnick and our special guest, Matt Shulman, quote machine, work together to earn a gift certificate to the Zeller's Restaurant. Uh, Matt, how are you doing today? Why? What do you know? What are they saying about me? <laughs> oh, they're saying lots. Let me tell you. Just check out the chat. <laughs> well, today you... No, no, no. James, James. That was the Green Party uh, meeting last night. <laughs> the leader. Oh, boy. Yeah, that's, uh, that's, that's a whole other show on its own. Good golly. I think they have about as many listeners as we do. <laughs> <laughs> hey, we have four or three... Maybe five on a good day. <laughs> All right. Well, today you'll earn valuable Zeller's Restaurant dollars based on the accuracy and creativity of your responses and how much they delight the wise guys and girl. One bonus dollar is earned each time you get Venturo to laugh out loud. In my hand, I have a list of questions about fudge. So bring out your sweet tooth. Yeah, I don't know what, even know what that means. <laughs> fudge get about it. <laughs> <laughs> all right uh, question number one it is believed that uh, this tasty treat was invented by accident they were trying to make something else but they fudged up the recipe and the result was delicious what were they trying to make vice principal botnik just anything to keep the children quiet for a few minutes <laughs> Cheryl knows what I'm talking about. I know, for real. <laughs> okay, Rohini's reaching for the oxygen. That's got to be worth $3. <laughs> Matt Shulman. I, I think they were trying to make the perfect tourist gift shop. <laughs> wow, have you been sneaking a peek into future questions? Oh, uh, Mr. Futuristic Tendencies for $4. Well done. Uh, yeah, toffee, caramel, maybe something like that. I don't know. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not really sure of the real answer. Well, if, it's, if it's a gift shop, maybe it was saltwater taffy. Oh, that'll keep the kids occupied for a while. It'll at least keep them quiet. 
All right, question number two. The largest fudge on record was made in Lavac, Ontario. Uh, what else is Lavac known for? Matt Shulman. Uh, when I looked it up, it has a house for sale listed at $89,900. I smell an opportunity. <laughs> Are you peeking at my notes? <laughs> a correct answer for $10. <laughs> And it's a multi-family house too. <laughs> Handyman special, I think it was. Nine thousand dollars. <laughs> oh, uh, Vice Principal Botnick. Well, now that you've got the real answer, is it even worth it? I was going to say <laughs> any gem that you can share with us, sir, is worth it. I was going to say the fewest teeth and the largest number of dentists per capita. <laughs> <laughs> you got your answer already. <laughs> <laughs> so the tooth fairy could buy the house. <laughs> oh no, if you were here yesterday, you would have known that the tooth fairy is a boat that travels dentists back and forth. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, we love horses on this show too. Five dollars for that response, sir. <laughs> oh, goodness gracious. Um, question three, Mackinac Island is known for its... Fudging festival. <laughs> uh, I guess I get the emphasis wrong on the syllables there, but anyway, fudging festival. Uh, what is the signature event of the fudging festival? <laughs> Vice Principal Potnick. Uh, that would be the creative accounting for the CRA square dance. You know, the swing your partner, do si do, I have no money, where to go, that sort of thing. Uh, I don't understand it, but I'll give you $3 for that. <laughs> <laughs> Matt Shulman. The, um, the signature event has children searching for five golden tickets hidden in fudge bars. Finders are rewarded with a tour of the local fudge factory owned by an eccentric chocolatier and a lifetime supply of fudge. Children are unaware, though, that the tour is also a competition to test their moral character. <laughs> <laughs> that would make a great story. Have you ever thought about writing that? I think uh, there's a movie in there for sure, isn't there? <laughs> that would be totally new idea. <laughs> Uh, maybe you could sell it for $89,900. It's a bit wonky, but... <laughs> I've, uh, seen, I've seen wilder movies. <laughs> uh, tallying up the damage, yeah, it's been a very generous day today. Uh, $35, so it's uh, sandwiches and jellos all around. Good job, everybody. Well done. We can't wait to get out to the Zeller's restaurant with our winnings. Maybe a little square of fudge that hasn't been on the floor for five seconds. Uh, uh, we should buy a book and read about it first <laughs> in our new house. <laughs> All right. It is Wednesday. Time for Wednesday's word. Uh, what do you call that uh, sort of fluffy white thing that uh, you find sort of hanging about uh, fudge shop? It's a dog. It's a dog. Oh. No, no, that's, no, no, no. Fred. No, that's, <laughs> this one's edible. It's a meringue tank. <laughs> <laughs> Do, do visual jokes work on an audio podcast? <laughs> I guess we'll find out. <laughs> well, that's the rest, everybody. Uh, thanks to our fans and friends for hanging with us. Have a great Wednesday. We are the Wise Guys and Girl and Matt, leaving you smarter and happier than you were yesterday. <laughs>